to like stare at guests who can't reach their rooms because I didn't do the layout properly. She's a prisoner forever and we don't care about her anymore. Anyway, welcome back to Let's Play Hotel Giant with me, Squawker. We've just made it to January the 6th. People are just moving about the hotel and things are going a little bit better. Still get satisfaction has gone up at the restaurant, thankfully, though people are still moaning about the chairs because they're ungrateful. So I guess I think I might just upgrade the chairs a little bit more because, oh sod it, you know what, I've got 36 million in the bank and I guess I can afford doing it, so, eh, right, we'll go to the next level of chair and then we'll go to the morning and we'll see if we've managed to lure a few couples up with my new, um, my new thing. So, I'm going to skip number four because I don't think it, I'm going to go all the way to number five, look, you get, look back, you get a blue a blue thing this time. It's got the top down view, so I don't I get all this out of the line by my side. One, two, oh shit. Is it easy when you have your idiot staff just walking everywhere as well, right? Let's make a little bit of room. One, uh, there we go, right. So now I've got everything set up in the direction I want it to be, in, so there we go. Oh, the staff are just walk wandering around like idiots. Like go home, it's like 1 a.m. No one is coming. No one is coming to the hotel at 1 fucking a.m. And it's, everyone is in the hotel, they're sleeping right now. Look, there we go. Better tables, right? Now let's get better boobs. Even though I think those boobs I had were very nice, but since everyone likes to be a fucking complaining bitch, we have to go upgrade and get dirt, we so yeah. Just get work on some upgrades. So snip, 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 snip. I'm gonna just keep on losing all the money in the world. <sighs> right, look, these ones. Ah, those ones look a little bit shit. Those ones look a bit shit. Those ones look horrible. Oh, for fuck's sake. All these boobs look crap. Like, the luxury of the. Like, the most luxurious one looks crap, but you know what? Right, like, fine. Get set number. Actually, no, go for set number nine. Set number nine looks nice. And if people complain about it, they can fucking kiss my ass. Right, so. Please get out of my way, Stephen, but thank you very much. Right, please get out of my way again. Yeah, whatever, right. Just start putting some booths down right there. We go. Four booths there. You know what? I can get a fifth one in here, can't I? Yeah, I can. A fifth. There we go. Extra booths, right? Now I've actually made my restaurant hold more people. I am thinking I might get a third chef in this hotel, actually, because, um, we do seem to get quite a few customers now at lunchtime, so, uh, um, I mean, we're not having complaints about the speed, but I'm thinking of just maybe doing a bit of future-proofing in this hotel. Since I'm on a spending spree anyway, we may as well just splash out on, like, you know, just, just an extra cookery set. And I think for every, every cookery set I get, I'm going to have to just get an extra diner. I'm going to move these a little bit because they're slightly out of line with the lights. I don't like that. That's really annoying. So let's just move on a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Right. There you go, look, we've got more, we've got even more bloody seats here now, so maybe people can now, like, just actually start, like, liking the hotel now, maybe? Or it's, like, liking the restaurant. People like the hotel because I built a nice room because I'm not a dick shit, but apart that from that one pathfinding error we call it. Yeah, right, anyway, let's put in an extra sink and an extra thing and what, an extra dishwasher, washer, washer. So, right, I want one more cooking faculty here. Might as, well just, might, as well just, might as well just fill out this kitchen, you know. Might as well like, make sure we've got something useful going on everywhere, so. Let's get you guys another sink, and then, hey, you know what? You guys also get a potted plant, because a potted plants are for everyone. So there you go, and yeah, that's about all I'm going to put in there, but look. You have a potted plant now. Actually, you know, why aren't there any potted plants here? Put some potted plants in here, and we're going to make this place a little bit... I mean, seriously, you watch any, like, thing from the 1980s, and you see a good restaurant, it always has a big fucking potted plant in it. No, seriously, I'm not even bullshitting. Good restaurants have potted plants. So I'm going to put, like, fucking plants here, here, and here. Plants to stare at when you're on your way for a shit. Right, done. Right. I'm happy with that now. We're going to skip forward to 8am, and we're just going to wait for people to wait for we'll someone who's not asleep. Hello, what are you doing, Jacqueline Derrick? She's just uh, with her lads, or at least with her girl and her lad. Two of them are sleeping, she's just stood there wondering. She's just contemplating life. Yep. What's going on in the second floor, by the way? Is she still trapped, by the way? I don't know. I want to find out. I mean, there's Mrs. Bitch there. I'll kill her one day. She's 
still there? Yep. Just indefinitely in limbo. She wants to upgrade room, by the way. I know she wants to upgrade room, but I'm not allowed because the game won't let me, so I'm sorry. Seriously, what, like, you could always just transfer to this room if you really wanted to, like put her in room 208, but there's no way I can do that, so I'm, yeah. See you in the morning, lady. Hope she enjoys sleeping on the floor. Because that's where she's going to sleep. By the way, we are now down 25 grand this month because of all my fucking spending on that restaurant. Not, I mean, like, even like spending on the rooms wasn't even setting us back that much. It was just basically spending on that flaming bloody restaurant. Oh, that thing's a pain in my arse. It really is. Let's just start moving towards about 10 a.m. ish. Let all the guests wake up. We'll see what's going on in the morning. See if any, we've got any new bookings coming in. See if we've got any, any departures. But I don't think we have anyone leaving on January 6th, so it doesn't really make any bloody difference to me, does it? But well, I'll check anyway. I mean, right, everyone's working on now, so, right. Let's start at the top, so. No, no, no. I can upgrade his room, by the way. I can't upgrade anyone else's room, like anyone who matters, but whatever. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Wait, who, who, who's that who I can upgrade? No, not you. Uh, no, no. Still trapped, isn't she? Yep, she is. She's been there all night now. No, 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 no. no we've got some leaving tomorrow, at least. Oh my god. To see that, right? <sighs> right. So we, we, we'll have we'll have something happen tomorrow. Is we'll have some money coming from guests. We'll see how much it pays. Oh, look, there's another guest. Hello there. Oh, smiling too much. I can just I can just like detect him from a mile away now. Right, well, while you're here, Ben, let's have a look at some market presets. How are we doing in the market? We're we getting more couples, let's see. Yes, looks like we are. Oh, they were already here, right? Well, any, right, are we getting new bookings? Uh, yes, we are! Yeah, look at that. So someone's coming in, someone's booked in with us for tonight. Someone's. Ooh, yes, we're getting more bookings. Here we go. Market share's still at 33%, though, so I don't think. I actually don't think we've actually done that lot. Yeah, but it looks like I. No, no, actually no, we have got some more bookings in there, coming in for my king size bed. Or queen size bed. Look, he's close enough. Yeah, look at that. We are, we are, get, we are getting some... We, yeah, look there, look, they're coming in. They, they, don't, they don't care, they don't care, so they're coming in, so right. I'm get, I'm get, I'm getting more people coming in now, so... There we go, I'm increasing my market share. Let's keep, let's keep building that market share up, though. But for now, I just want to observe today's lunchtime rush, see... See how things go down at the hotel now that everything's better. Seriously, they can't complain today. I've like made this really nice now. Get an extra captain though. I think we need an extra captain. Even though it's gonna cost us money, but hey, we, we I think I think two captains and three serves. I don't know what captains still do by the way. I'm guessing it's an American term, captain. Even though I still don't think they're like in charge of steering this fucking hotel, since that's my job. I'm like admiral of the hotel, but yeah. All the profits and oh look, people still have needs here. Right, what's what's up here, Ben? Upgrading, right? Well, no, I'm not. I'm not upgrading people unless I feel unless I feel like it. I'm not upgrading people for no reason. So like, you booked for room, you stay in your room. I'm sure, the brochure had all the details you needed. Anyway, we've got new people arriving today, so I want to see them arrive. Um, she's still. Oh, wait, I thought she was like getting really confused. All the lads in room 3 or 4, though, they're doing good. They're really satisfied. I actually really like my room. I'm like, getting 60% satisfaction there. So we are doing good up there. I'm happy with that. And they're, and they're leaving on the, on the 9th as well, which means... They're, they're going to actually generate a lot of money for me. And I think they've already eaten at the restaurant, so yeah. They are going. They, they are just going to put my profits nicely up. Anyway, ooh, there's a lot of people moving around. I was just hoping to get people moving into the... Uh, Restaurant, but it looks like we're not yet. Who are you, by the way? Who are you? Oh, you're the other captain, right? Mr. Tuxedo Man. Captain Two. Right. You just enjoy doing what you do. Dormant's just still stood there. You know, I go on about the the, the uh, stupid waiters doing nothing. He just sits, he just stands there all day. You 
does have the most depressing XP. I mean, look, he only does 500 quid a, a month as well, and he works full time. You just do not have a good life, do you? Not at all. Tragic. Tragic existence here, as simple as that, really. Right. Anyway, everyone's at the hotel now, but I want to see my visitors come in. Come on! Nearly time for din-dins! I'm expecting, I think they're only coming about three or two or three o'clock actually, but yeah. That's my dinner rush, come on! Yeah, here we go. So these guys have just arrived, he's just checking in. Oh, we had someone coming in for this room as well. Right, he's going to be here for about a week, so right. I'm going to get, how, how much are we charging here? 90, so let's see, let's just do some quick mental gymnastics. We're making a lot of money out of him, that's why I'm just going to say we're making a lot of money out of him. What room are you in? 3 or 3? Yeah! We're getting more people in room 3! You know there's only two of them, but still that's worth a lot of money to me. But yeah, um... What is it? 90 times... Ooh, we're making nearly... I think we're making just about 700 quid out of him this month. And that's excluding if we go to a hotel. Getting quite a few people staying in my... In room in the third floor actually, but then again these are like... Well, so yeah. Um, so, I mean, we're doing good there at least. I mean, I've, I've got, I've got. I mean, these rooms are just getting booked. I mean, that is just it. They're, they're just getting booked. I mean, seventy-five percent occupancy now on the group, on the group rooms. Uh, Hundred percent occupancy on the standard room, like the initial rooms. <gasps> you didn't even complain about the chair. Timothy, niece, you get a free meal if I knew how to do that. But yeah, he didn't even complain about the fucking chairs. What a lad. Oh, and here's a new person as well. She's just coming here. Right. Come on. Take a seat, lass. If I see that yellow question mark, I will assassinate you. Finally, we've cracked the code of the chairs. Right, we know what people like now. You enjoy your food. You enjoy your food. I'm running a successful restaurant now, not really, because we're, we're still hemorrhaging money like there's no tomorrow, but we're at 50% satisfaction now. That's still a pretty shit number, but either way, I think we're going to start moving up in the world. Next time, I think I might just increase the uh, the quality of ingredients, have to increase the prices accordingly, just so it's, because we also need to pull in a profit, but I think we're doing, I think we're doing good, I think we're doing good. I mean, Timothy Nees agrees. Ah, oh, he's even staying in the hotel. Timothy Nees, wow, I should upgrade your room, but I'm not allowed to. Which is a shame, because he's... I mean, look, he, yeah, he's a guy who's going to spend a load of money here anyway. And, like, if he's going to eat here every day, he, he, he's, he's just going to fucking, like, lose an entire month's wages on, on this fucking hotel, isn't he? Which is good. She's just a visitor, but hey, she's, she's here to spend money. Just... It feels nice, actually, now. It's all starting to come together. It really is all starting to come together now. Getting more people coming in. We're only having one visitor in in a minute, but this is a pretty, pretty disappointing lunchtime rush. Usually we get more. Uh, right. All right, not the not the busiest lunch rush ever. Then not the busiest lunch rush ever today. But right, satisfaction is increasing, and we've had no complaints today. That's good. Maybe tomorrow we'll get a bigger lunch rush. Maybe I don't know, but yeah done something better today. And I think before we wrap up today's episode, I think it's time we just chuck, chucked out another room. So, let's go back up to the third floor and see what we can do. How much room do we have left here? Not exactly a lot. I think we actually have enough to squeeze in something. Um, maybe just a few more single rooms, actually. So, uh, I put some basics here, like... Like, they're gonna live in cubicles here, but look. I'm just using my space efficiently now. There we go, look. You live in cubicles, like, but. Yeah. That's, that's room for more guests. And you know what? If these rooms are like getting 100%. Well, actually, no, this one wasn't getting 100 This one's only on 33%. But look. I think those rooms are gonna get popular, so. Alright, someone wants to upgrade, but whatever. I think, I, think, I think they're gonna get more. I think they're gonna get more popular, so. Whatever. I, I, I think we're on to a thing there. Um, I think we can use that to lure more singles. Right, but fourth floor, which is this, this is our last floor we can use, but right. Let's do some market research. Let's see what we can do. 
I mean, we're doing a good job at luring doubles now. We're starting to lure groups over. I mean, there are other group types we need. They didn't book with us. What a bunch of cheap bastards. Uh, some people want, like even more luxury, but they want like deluxe too. And I did, I actually did uh, just before the this episode go diving into my game files looking for a manual. And I couldn't find it. I even, I even had to try to like browse forums quickly, but I couldn't just, I just couldn't find anything that, um, like did any that 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 like um would help us. But yeah, I wonder what the Lantis Hotel's like, by the way. I mean, there's somewhere in Paris. There's the Arc de Triomphe. There's the Eiffel Tower. There's Notre Dame. Where, where am I? I'm here. I'm really close to the Triomphe. Then, yeah, way over there. There are only really two stars, by the way. What am I? I'm two stars as well. It doesn't really say anywhere, but yeah. I'm a two-star hotel now, but they're at 88% occupancy, and I'm only at 48%. We, we're still losing out big time to them, which is really annoying. Um, future reservation rate is also dropping, which isn't very good, um, unless we do it for the next 30 days. For the next month, I right, we're doing alright for the next month, then at least. Um, I mean, we've got quite, still got quite a few which are reserved. I think I might actually put the, uh, the rate down for the standard queen. I'm gonna put it down to 108. So it's tied with the guest room now, but I, I, I just want to try and get more people reserving that room. So no one's reserving these rooms. Um, right. Anyway, other things to, to look at. Um, want to go back into market research? Oh my God, we're up to 37 percent now, but we're going up again. Um, we do. So we do want sweets, by the way, or more than looks. Maybe a deluxe single room should be on the cards now. I mean, normal, deluxe, normal, normal, single beds, normal, sweets, 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 deluxe one. Yeah, people, people just want deluxe one rooms. It's just I can't make them happen sometimes. It's just a bit weird. But, right, pe pe people, people in this area are just asking for luxury. I mean, alright, some people are asking for sweets, sweets. Sweets, deluxe two, deluxe two, sweets, normal, sweets. We just, we, right, we just need to build a luxury room. We just, like, top floor, best of the best, right? So let's let's start a new layout, sir. Let's just make a new layout, sir. I want to make a new layout, sir. Do, 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 do. New layout, right? Let's make this room decent size, sir. Of, uh, 7.5 there, 7 by 9, perfect, right, and oh shit, there's a gap, but uh, that, that's, still, that's still a good size, so actually, you know what, yeah, you know, just let's resize it a little bit, so, right, just make it a bit bigger, so, just make it a bit bigger, 7x9.25, right, so, we want to like put in queen size beds or something, but I also want to make sure we've got stuff like bedrooms and um, bathrooms, so let's put a nice bathroom here, let's make it 3.5, then here, let's make sure we've got a room, so I want the bedroom, I want the bedroom to be here, make it 3.5 by 9, yeah, I think that might work, let's make sure we've got stuff in like bedrooms, so uh, let's see, canopy bed, people are asking for canopies, we're asking for king size, I think we're going to go with king size, Make it a nice king size bed, so there we go. Right, what we graded now? Sweet! Ooh, that is sweet, right. But people, what kind of sweets were people after, by the way? Like, what were people after in terms of sweets? I mean, let's have a look. Deluxe 2, Deluxe 2. I wish I could, like, filter. I wish, I mean, this is a good filter, I'm, I mean, but if there was another way of filtering these, like, like quality or something, I mean, a lot of people asking for deluxes here, like, deluxes sweet with king size. that bed for a canopy then. Um, so let's just snip that out. Might still be able to hold on to that sweet rate. I mean, canopies should be better anyway, so... Um, they're all a bit atrocious, aren't they? Right, we'll just go for the best one. Right, what are we now? Still a sweet. Good, right. 
I start chucking some stuff down like doors and stuff, so... No, not in this new bad way. That's a sex bed. Um, right. Let's get some... Let's get some doors in, so I want a door here. I want a door in the bathroom, so... Let's get a door in the bathroom. And we now just put in our... Doors set up, right. Let's think about other things then. Let's think about putting in some objects. So let's start off with the luggage stand. So since this is going to be my suite, I may as well just put like the best of the best here. I'm gonna have to really, really jack up the uh, the uh, price though. So do a big TV as well. Should we go for a plasma? It's gonna cost me a lot to maintain it, but you know what? If, if I think, I think we can make a lot out of this room. If we get it up to like a good level of occupancy, we're going to make this room work, so there we go. Plasma TV, really nice wall mounts by the way. I and um, just keep putting in objects, so let's see, we've got sofa, uh, extras, put in a light switch of course. Uh, do we put in a fridge? No, because I want, I want to force people into eating in my, in my restaurant, but you get a mini bar, so yeah, you get your mini bar. Uh, let's see what else do we need. We need to make sure we're covering as many bases as possible because we're gonna have some pop we're probably gonna have some right picky bastards coming into this room as well since they're gonna be like um, you know like, like these these guys are gonna be really good to me. We don't even like, have the option to put in tea and coffee facilities actually, which is really, really bad. All good restaurants in Britain have tea and coffee facilities, like as in like just a kettle, but still get tea bags with it, which I think is essential in Standard issue plan, by the way, not the giant one. Ooh, like, yeah, because that's, that's, that's huge. I want the nice and neat one, right? There we go. Oh, I fit. Right, um. Roses. Roses are nice. There we go. There you go. Right, also make sure they've got access to some reading material and, um, the safe. Yeah, because these are rich people. They want to they store all their, their, all their, like, really posh crap here, so. There we go, and do we give him a grandfather clock, by the way? Nah, we give him a table clock. So let's just put, let's just, let's give him a coffee table as well, so you know, you've got your coffee table. Let's go chuck that. Can I put it here? Like, no, nah, right. Um, where would I put the coffee table then, like, or what other tables do we have? There's end tables, tables, centre tables, right, yeah, a centre table. There you go, you got, you got your centre table here, which is where I'm just going to put, where I'm going to put your clock. Where was a clock again? There we go. You get a clock. Which tells you what time it is, and I'll put a light chair near it as well. So, um. Let's see, light chair. Nice chair, of course. So, there we go. Except I can't put it near the, ch Except I can't put it near the chair, like near the table. Just a bit weird, but fine. I'll just put other stuff on on this table. Like, I don't know, no, I'm not putting a microwave on the table. Um. Chinaware. There we go. We get some chinaware, even though I don't really know what it's going to do, but hey, don't forget the rug. There you go, look. Right, that's a good room. you got your mini bar, you got your safe, you got your reading material, you got your thing. Right, look. They've got what they need in there. Let's decorate this room now, so uh, let's see what else we're going to put down. Um, vanity set, yes, we need a vanity set, because people are vain, so there you go. you got your vanity set, let's make sure you've got a wardrobe, nice wardrobe. It's like a bedroom, this. Um, TV, do you want a TV in your bedroom? No, no, we can do that. Uh, flowers in vases. Uh, at least let's put another table. Um, oh, yeah, make sure we've got the lights set up in here. There we go. Nice lights, just doing it all to make something lazy. Uh, plant, 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 plant. Need your plants. Chairs, actually, it's a chair. I can't see chairs. Ah, here we are. Chair, a chair with an ottoman. I know it's a bit horrible, but yeah, you get you get a chair with the ottoman to uh, sit there, and I don't know. Still a bit limited into what I can put. I don't know. Audio system, yeah. Audio system, phone, VCRs, DVD players, clock radios. You need your clock radio, don't you? Let's make sure we've got a um, thingy set up there. 
table, so let's put an end table just next to it, there you go, which is where I'm going to put your, your, your clock radio, so um, yeah, actually should I put in a mini audio system here, like micro audio system, yeah, put some music there, banging tunes, banging tunes, sit there and listen to the radio, all your tunes in the morning, right, I'm happy with that room now, except it needs a bathroom, we need to put this in the bathroom, otherwise then we cannot call this a suite, Putting a B day because that sounds posh than, than shit to the throne, so there you go. I think that's I think that thing's supposed to wash your bum or something when you sit on that. I, I don't know, I, I've never seen a B day in my life. Nice sink, by the way. There we go. That's a ugly but luxurious sink. And should we put a jacuzzi? No, I think a jacuzzi's going too far. But I'll give you like the best bathtub you have, so there you go. And you get plants, you get plants, you get plants in the room as well. Plants for all. There we go, nice plan and a mirror, even though we've got, like, we've got way too many mirrors in this room, but I'm just putting in more mirrors because I have a mirror addiction now. And uh, what else can I put in? Move up, I want it in the corner, I want the plant in the corner. I can't put the plant in the corner, it's in the fucking door, right? Put the plant there then. Uh, make sure we've got the bin as well, where's the paper basket? There we go. And. Right, there we go then. That's the suite done. So now I'm just going to quickly texture it up. So let's go for a nice texture set. Something posh. That looks posh. Yeah, there we go. Uh, texture sets. I'm only doing texture sets now because actually I just want to wrap this episode up um, because I'm actually supposed to be going out right now. So, um, yeah. Running a life around you. Let's play cello. How fucking thrilling is that? Anyway, there we go. That is what we like to call a sweet suite. So. Oh, we can have strategy tips for our sweet by the way. Oh, didn't know that. Didn't know that either. Right. Price for a sweet by the way, 300 motherfucking dollars. So there we go. 300 dollars to live in my suite because that is what you, that is what I'm charging you for basically living in luxury. And we're just going to clone stamp a few more of these down quickly. So let's quickly rename it. The, the sweet, because that's what it is. And we have to just chuck a few more that's going to the top down view and uh, let's see what we want there. And there. And there. And wasted space again. That pisses me off. Right. And now we have to go we have to go down the other way now because we have up the door. There. And there. And there. And there. Perfect, right there. Plenty of sweets for my these are going to cost me a lot of money to run, but you know what, let's see if we can get full occupancy on it. And if we can, then we have made it in this game, we have just bloody made it. There's a customer in the lobby somewhere, by the way. I don't know where he is. Anyone here by the way? Oh look, we've got a customer here. Tim again, Timothy Nietzsche, you greedy bastard. You just love our food, don't you? Oh, oh, complain by the way, your food hasn't come. Right. I don't know whose food didn't come, but whoever did, whoever fucked that up is in trouble with me now. But right, uh, by the way, we've got, uh, they're just moving up to their room, I believe. Yes, they are, they're off to the third floor. Um, yeah, don't know who did that, but yeah, whoever complained, that has knocked my satisfaction the fuck down. Which isn't good at all, really. I think it might be, oh, well, it wouldn't be his food, because, yeah, he hasn't complained, but yeah. His food is coming back, well, someone is serving him. Is he receiving food today? I don't know. Let's just go to perspective for the chat. What are you guys doing? Are you guys pulling your fingers out or something? No, you're just all sat there doing nothing. Don't make me take your plant away from you. Unless he's just like sitting there, because he's just like sitting there. I don't know. Waiters, waiters, captains, captains, you are doing something with this guest. I don't know why he's sat there. He is spending money at the restaurant, so you know. See that he gets his food, or at our squawker gets very, very unhappy. He's also ending the episode now, so I will see you all in the next episode, folks. So next time, I'll let's play Hotel Giant. Um, I don't know really. We've built our hotel up to a point where we're going to be, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up this week, start getting some money in, and um, yeah, we've got a lot of people talking about by the way. But yeah. Start just trying to keep on top of customer complaints, customer needs, 
And I think really I've done all I can to increase market share now. Hopefully tomorrow we'll see some people deciding, oh, we're going to check into those sweets, those sweet old sweets. We'll just see what happens. We'll just have to start looking now at really focusing hard on our goals. We'll be back back with Uh, but you know, we have to move towards our goals. We need to. Uh, oh, our game score's going up, by the way. We're up to 19 now. But we need to get a good monthly profit in, mainly for February. We also need to get a restaurant monthly profit in. Yeah, so we, we need to do a lot. But that's all for tomorrow, or for the next episode, or whenever these are uploading, because I don't know what day this will upload on, because I'm very, very far behind on uploading in terms of. Well, my uploading to recording ratio is a bit fucked, isn't it? But probably, um, yeah, I think this is probably going to be the last upload cycle before Total War Month, which I already announced on an earlier um, episode of Total War. But you know what, while I'm here, I may as well announce it again, because in case any of you here didn't know I do Total War, but I do Total War. Total War Month is in September, which is the birthday of my channel, the fourth birthday of my channel. We will be doing more of my Carthage campaign. We will be doing multiplayer games of Rome 1. We will be doing multiplayer games of Total War Warhammer. We will be doing day one impressions of Total War Warhammer 2, which I have pre-ordered and stuff. So, check it out when September finally turns up. But for now, I'm calling that an episode. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm s Am I supposed to say stuff about this game right now? Because it's probably the last episode I'm recording this week. I don't know. My waiters are fucking useless. Woo! See you on the next episode, folks, with more hijinks in the hotel. See you later.